So friends. So friends, as I told in my last video that I will make a special video on this multimeter. Here it is. So why do waste time? Let's go right into the video. <laughs> So let's unbox this multimeter. Meiko company has made four model of multimeter. So as you can see in the box you get a probe and a compact size multimeter and you get a, another probe which i will say in this video so stay tuned and you get a instruction manual This is our Miko Auto Ranging Digital Multimeter model 108B plus True RMS. If you want to know more about True RMS of this multimeter, I have given link in my description. Go and watch out that video. There is a lot of indication pattern of this multimeter in instruction manual. You can stop this video and check out. These are all the 16 indication of this multimeter and this is the image where will be the indication show. Specification of this multimeter. You can stop this video and check out. You can check out the weight of this multimeter. It's only 130 gram, including battery. This is the instruction of operating this system. This has certificate of calibration as I told in my last video. This is our high quality props of this multimeter. This multimeter props have 10 ampere rated current. This is the low quality multimeter. And the prop is also the same.
Now check both the difference of the low quality and high quality multimeters probe. See there is so many difference in the low quality and high quality multimeters probe. So this is totally a scrap. Let's keep our prop side and check our multimeter. This is our compact size Miku 108B plus True RMS multimeter, which has inbuilt temperature measurement and they give two AA batteries. This is the stand of the multimeter. which is strong when awning this it gives a small beep it is better for beginner by pressing this yellow button you can select the option you want. If you long press in the hold button, it gives a light, which is better in dark. This is amps, this is milliamp and the second main feature of this multimeter is measuring temperature and this prop is also used in measuring temperature. It would be fluctuating but don't worry, when you measure the millivolts you will get the correct voltage. When you are measuring current, you must insert your probe here. Negative probe would be common. When you are measuring voltage, resistance, continuity etc. You must keep in the first probe. Now check the quality of this multimeter.
Now let's check our temperature measuring props. This is not a high quality props, but it's okay for a beginner. That's it for today's video guys. That's it for today's video guys. If you are new here please like, share and subscribe. And also press the bell icon there to get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay safe, stay creative. See you all soon.